Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this third week looking at electoral systems. So far, you should be an expert in first past the post. You should also be uh, pretty sharp on the majoritarian systems, um, which is AV and SV, and some of the more proportional systems like the party list system. In this week, we're going to introduce our final two types of electoral system, and you can see them below me here. We're looking at STV and AMS. And the reason why we're looking at these last is that in many ways, I'm going to be a little bit biased here, in many ways, these are the best two systems available, but they are also the most complex. And when I say best, what I mean is, is that they are designed to try and keep some of the advantages of systems like first past the post, where you've got a uh, an MP constituency link, and the same with the majoritarian systems, uh, where you kind of get an outright winner. And they are trying to combine it with a proportional system like the party list system, where the number of votes actually ends up kind of reflecting the amount of seats that they get. And so these systems are the best in that they try and get the best of all worlds or both worlds. But this comes at the expense of significant complexity um, and it, they all come with their own potential kind of issues as, as, as a result of, of that as well. Now, I'm not going to actually be going to be doing all the lectures this week because I found some amazing um, resources um, online that explain it far better than I can. So this is simply going to be an introductory video, uh, a short introductory video to these um, systems in where I just want to show you where these systems are actually used. So let's start off with stv because that's going to be the first one which is going to um, appear in, in this lesson now stv is only used in one place in the uk which is in northern ireland for the northern irish assembly ams is used in the scottish parliament and it's used in the welsh assembly and it's used in the london assembly so basically AMS, which is the additional member system, which will be explained to you how it works later, is used for all of the regional assemblies, if, if I include London as a, as a, as a regional assembly, um, except Ireland. Now, the reason why this perhaps might be an interesting uh, observation is it means that every time a new parliament has been set up around the UK, they haven't gone for first past the post. So when when, this, when Scottish devolution was set up, when Welsh devolution was set up, when Northern Irish was set, with, you know, et cetera, et cetera, when all of these parliaments were set up, they could have just modelled it on Westminster and gone for first past the post. But in every in every occasion, they didn't. In every occasion, they took the opportunity to put in a system which was more complex, but hopefully more representative. And I think that is a really quite strong argument against first past the post, because it means, if you were to scrap Westminster Parliament and then start it again, you probably wouldn't, the, this kind of demonstrates that you wouldn't necessarily be using first past the post because when they have set up a brand new parliament, they've never used the same system. Now, why does Northern Ireland use a different system to the other ones? Well, it's something to do with the actual uniqueness of Northern Ireland and what's become known as the troubles in Northern Ireland. Um, there is, um, Northern Ireland is quite a unique situation in that there's a lot of tension there about whether Ireland should be become part of mainland Ireland and stop being part of the United Kingdom, or whether Northern Ireland should remain as it is as part of the United Kingdom, i.e. a kind of a, a, a British um, territory. And you may be aware and hopefully are aware that there was an, a, a lot of... Um, anger and riots and um, terrorism and bad behavior on, on both sides, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn there, uh, throughout most of the 1970s and 80s and, and um, early 90s. And so Northern Ireland is a very, um, has a very kind of careful balance of trying to kind of keep peace there, which is why the recent Brexit agreements that impact Northern Ireland have been quite controversial. And so one of the reasons they've gone for a slightly different system is because they wanted a system where they had multiple representatives in um, each area. So rather than um, having a situation where you had like one MP or representative for a certain area, they wanted to have multiple MPs for a certain area. So whether you're what's known as a nationalist or whether you're perhaps more a unionist, which are the kind of the two views there, you would hopefully have an MP that would represent you. So if you're a unionist, you could go to your local unionist MP. And if you're a nationalist, you can go to your, lo your local nationalist MP. So the idea being that by having multiple MPs representing each area, each person whatever their political views or nationalist views, should have at least one MP that reflects that particular 
idea or, or can represent um, them. Because if you were a nationalist, if, you're a, if your local MP was only a unionist, that might be very um, controversial or very upsetting for you, and, and the same in reverse. So, so when you're looking at STV, which is coming up first, bear in mind that North, it is used in Northern Ireland and other countries um, to try and deal with that quite unique situation. And that does take me back to a point that I made, I think, in our first video, is that this political, the electoral systems that are chosen are done for, for, for specific reasons for that particular purpose, whether it's electing a mayor, whether it's the Northern Ireland Assembly, and whether it's the Scottish Parliament Assembly. So what, over the next few slides, you're going to see um, a brief introduction to STV uh, with a bunch of um, YouTube videos from online and a few websites that I'd like you to read through. Um, and, then the, and then there'll be a pause and you'll get another video from me. And then you'll get the same introductory system for um, AMS. Take notes as you go. There will be question activities on the Nearpod as you work your way through this. If you're, work, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not associated with me, then you won't have the questions, but I'll put the links to the other videos in the description. Thanks. Bye.